24, 2021, and I'm going to interview Esh from Aruba Tourist Channel. Wow, look at this nice cool truck. Wow, got the whole thing now. We're in uh, the town harbor in Aruba, and we're going to come over, and Norman's new boat is here, and Norman's uh, scuba Aruba, scuba safari Aruba, sorry, and we're going to see his boat. Norman's boat's here. Boat looks really nice. And I think this is maybe his first trip that he's going out. It looks like the boat's from Tennessee. And that's a Lloyd Lionfish King. That's a beautiful boat. Scuba Safari Aruba. Nice bay liner. Nice and clean. Beautiful. And we're coming over. And uh, what's your name, gentlemen? My name is Eshor. Oh. <laughs> Ash, where are you from? I'm from Aruba. Oh, do you have anything to do with the Aruba Tourist Channel? Yes, I own the Aruba Tourist Channel. What is Aruba Tourist Channel? The Aruba Tourist Channel, actually, we focused on ex exploding or ex uh, expanding. Or exploding? Who are you going to expose? Exposing. exposing. Sorry, uh, it's too early. My choice of words are not so good. <laughs> but ex um, um, exposing Aruba as much as possible um, outside. The Aruba region. So you're trying to teach people how nice Aruba is and try to get people to come to Aruba? Exactly. I Are just you... met him over there. Oh, what's your name? My name is Jose. <coughs> Jose Giancoso? Yes. Um, okay, who's your best friend? A guy named Rogelio. Roger. What's his Roger last name? Muller. From where? He's German. He's German. From the U.S. Oh, wow. From the U.S. Okay, yeah. Hoboken? <laughs> you to put that in. Area. Okay, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Okay, what's your real name? My middle name is Joseph. Oh my god, okay. Next. So what do you want to say? <laughs> he told me about this, so I came down to the docks. He told you? Yes. Who, yes. me or him? No, he did. I met him over there by the Starbucks, and we came down, and I want to go on the boat. There you go. Nice. See? Whose boat are you going on? Uh, you better go on Safari. Scuba Safari, sorry. Aruba. Aruba Safari. Because we're in Aruba. No, Safari. <laughs> Scuba Safari Aruba, he messed up my interview. I said Scuba right. Safari, didn't I? No. There's no Aruba in front of that name. It's at the end. All right, Ash, so yes. tell me about, so why do you want people to know about Aruba? Well, our main focus is to, to Aruba has so many nice beaches and places and sceneries at night and sunsets. So we focus on that to explore the digital. Okay, so the thing is, um, I met you the other day, but I had no idea where to go because I never asked you. How do people find your website? Well, What's the um, address? first of all, if you search Aruba, okay. um, you will first find aruba.com. Okay. On aruba.com, you will find one click that says live, and there you'll find Aruba Tourist Channel. Okay. Um, or you can go directly to arubatouristchannel.com. So it's arubatourischannel.com. Exactly. Go www.arubatourischannel.com. Yes. Yes. And uh, and from there, and we are on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, uh, uh, everything Aruba Tourist Channel. How many followers you have? And now, right now, we are just two years in existence. So we are over on Facebook. We have we are over twenty five. Um, thousand uh, viewers um, sorry um, followers uh, but monthly we are over on reach on our entire platform which we call all, so views yeah so reach is around over one million a month one million a month over one million. Wow. wow that's amazing yeah. and when did you start your company two years ago yeah the, the, the channel is established like two years ago yeah, it's going really well really well I mean if we see the development of other other like Since my 19 years old, I'm 44 now. So, uh, so it's pretty. Long. What's your favorite place to go on Aruba? Aruba is one place I like. 
and I always, if you see my channel, you can see that a lot of the places at Rogers Beach. Rogers Beach. Rogers Beach is the, in Aruba, it's the top. Beautiful sand. It's the sand, is quiet, water. and everybody is, you know, everybody goes to Baby Beach, which is the other side. We're right next to it. But, uh, but Rogers is just amazing. And then the water is so Exactly. Turquoise. 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 Yeah, for, for relaxing. Yeah. For relaxing. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and, here at the airport that's day one and then day two we call it the second um, beach tour which is on the north side where the hotel areas where you have Malma so where you have the like lighthouse Palm that's Palm Beach, Eagle yes. beach. and then first we start at um, Arashi Beach which is right a little bit further you have the California lighthouse um, then you have um, then you keep coming down till Eagle Beach it's around six beaches in one day and then you have day, day three, which then we start exploring what everything is to do with restaurants. And then, and then we go to then the day four, we have to do with um, with the tours concerning um, like like um, the, the national park, uh, uh, park um, Erica, to have that. Um, and then we know the caves and, uh, and all the all the area. If you go back to day two. What do you recommend yeah. people to go if they want to snorkel? The best place to snorkel is Russia. No, the no. best place to snorkel, and you probably in this season you will find a lot of um, tur turtles, is, is just before you get to Russia. Oh. There is a place called Tres Trapping. Oh, like Tres Trapping, the three, the three, three steps. Yeah, yeah. There, if you go there, and you start steps. to move. That's where Tons of turtles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I know Arashi has a lot with yeah. the Tres Trapping. So the Tres Trapping is by the... Uh, Left. More, more or less. Yeah. It's a little bad. Yeah, yeah. The one is really long. That it's, it's, it's not deep, but yeah. it's very beautiful because it's right where the rocks the, the, are. The uh, steps are cut out, so there's three steps that go down. So yeah. it's called tree structures. Yeah. But uh, for snorkeling, that's definitely one of the better. Yeah, that's one. At that area, that's that's nice. But also in Russia, has lots. Of then you have, then you come a little bit more yeah. like to uh, right now there's Ritz Carlton. Uh, you have the, the sunken ship there. Tell us a 65 yeah, foot yeah. German freighter exactly. that got sunk during World War II. Yes, that's what that actually got bombed. Yeah, no, the thing oh, is, it wasn't the, a no, the, it was the, a German the, freighter. The, it was, um, you have different ships, you have the one there, you have the one left with the um, further as well. But the one that's split with further, um, that one is the Scuttling. Yeah. It's called scuttling when scuttling. they sank it intentionally. Intentionally. It is a, a, no, because a re the word was no, finished. After the war, they oh. do it so that the people don't get it, the resources. Exactly. Oh. That's, that's the reason. That happened a lot. And then, and then they sunk it there. So obviously they pulled everybody out. 
and then they, they, they sunk it, and that's still there. Okay, so when I'm at home in New Jersey, people ask me all the time I dive, I take pictures of, it used to be the Sinesta airplanes, because Sinesta home across the street over here, uh -huh. and Brian, you see that now it's a Renaissance, Renaissance. hotel. So Before whoever owns a hotel, they need the island, Renaissance Island, Renaissance oh. airplanes. So there's two airplanes underwater. Um, oh yeah, Renaissance Island. Yeah. Two years ago, I was taking a, a GoPro, and I went through the plane, the inside, it's really interesting. But what happened is someone got upset when they said, oh, I can't believe you're showing, uh, you know, an accident where people died. I never said anybody died there. No, no, it's, it's, it, it, it was it, put it's, there, it was all cleaned out and it's, stuff. Yeah. And no plane people were upset, oh, you're taking a picture yeah. of people, it crashed, died. It's perfectly on the bottom going up like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the cockpit's all cleaned out, but you can go inside, the seats yeah. are gone. Yeah. But I want to make sure that everybody knows that the Renaissance airplane is not no, an accident, the, right? Yeah, we have we have three like three diving spots that is created. Like like Renaissance has this that's the plane. It's never crashed any plane crash, you just can bought the plane, plane and put it there. You have by um, by well, what's it called a Mangalalto as well. You have a, a, a boat. What's that the name of the boat there? I, I don't know the name of the boat the because it's not it's not it's not like a, it just they sank it for 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 diving purposes. Yeah. For recreation. Yeah, yeah recreation. Yeah. So it's not nothing, no accident. The only the only ships that has been something to do with history has those two in Lombok. Uh, and and that's it. Basically, that's it. there's no other like accident or something happened. It's like the anchor at uh, at uh, the, the red, the red, big red anchor that you have in Saint Nicholas. Okay. Uh, you you know that before you go to baby. Yeah, where that anchor from? Yeah, that, that, like that anchor, that like anchor like is from. Yeah, that anchor was pulled out by another ship because the it was from another ship that the anchor got lost and oh, loose and fell in the in the deep ocean. And during World War, do you know Saint Nicholas? They were doing this uh, uh, ship. Uh, they have their refinery and everything. And the, sh the big ship <laughs> took it out, and they found a lot of um, rum at the bottom oh, wow. of the ocean because the ship, the other ship sank. And then they opened Charlie's bar. The Charlie's oh, bar, okay. Charlie's Saint bar, Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. Yeah. It was opened by by that. Wow. So then they bought all the. They, they took it out the from, the, from everything stuff. from yeah. the from the water and the, and the anchor. They put it out as well, and then they they placed it there as a because all that area was bought was, was from the oil uh, refinery from from the U.S. Uh, city, city, yeah. And the pro all the property still is it's still owned by them, and they put it there and. Uh, as in the memorandum of all, of, of all the people that, that died there during those uh, seasons of the ship. That's the only other history in there, and that's basically it. So, the thing is, why are we here today? What are we doing? Well, Do you know this guy? Yeah, you, 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 you have a reason why you're here. Right. That, is, that's your reason why you're here. <laughs> what is the name of the new stock? Well, Norman. Norman is, uh, has a very um, long time. I'll probably show you Norman. It's in Aruba's whole life. Norman is a diver, professional diver. Let him explain. Norman, who are you? Uh, my name is Norman Harris and I'm a, what you call it, a mix of body professional and spear fisherman. So when you have that combination, you get one of the best dives on the island. So that's what we, we, we give to our clients and we set up our the equipment. It's like a ballet. Dive. So yeah, we we'll get all in one. And how many times have you used your boat? It's so, what? So what? How many times have you used this boat dive? Um, diving, no. So this is a this is a special trip. special <laughs> day, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, special day. Congratulations, sorry. My friend, ready to board? Yeah. All right, yes, let's go. So, let's go ahead and get the experience. Yes. 